We get a lot of questions about carburetors in the comments section of MCG. And the truth is, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with these guys. Too many things, in fact, to cover in one video. But in all of my years fiddling with motorcycles, there is one problem that plagues carburetors the most. A carburetor is just a mechanical mixing device. It mixes gas from the float bowl with air passing through the throat in a very precise ratio. If that fuel air ratio is off even just a little bit, you're gonna have problems. Far and away, the most common issue I find is clogged pilot jets. The pilot jet, along with the mixer screw, is responsible for making your bike run from idle up until about a quarter throttle. So, the pilot circuit is what you should be examining if your bike is exhibiting any of these very common running issues demonstrated now by my lovely little Z50. All those issues are indicative of a lean running condition, meaning the air-fuel ratio has too much air and not enough fuel. More likely than not, your pilot jet is blocked with a piece of debris or some gummed up gas, but it's a good idea to check your mixture screw before you tear the carb apart. The mixture screw is usually on the side of the carb or the bottom, and it's used to fine tune the fuel air ratio at idle. Depending on where the mixture screw is located on the carburetor body, turning the screw out will either enrich in or lean out the air fuel ratio. So check your shop manual to see what the situation is with your particular bike and also to see what the stock settings are. On singles like the Z50, the mixture screw is typically easy to access, but on multi-cylinder bikes like an inline four, it can be a royal pain in the ass to get to the screws with the carbs on the bike. If you are working on a multi-cylinder bike, you're gonna need something like Motion Pro's angled screwdriver to get in there to those mixture screws. This is a super handy tool to have if you're doing a bunch of carb tuning, but the fact is, mixture screws don't just go out of adjustment on their own. So, unless you've installed a high flow air filter, or if you moved from the mountains down to sea level, or did something else that's gonna lean out your pilot circuitry, you probably just need to give that pilot jet a little bit of love. With the carb or carbs off the bike, the first thing you're gonna need to do is pop off the float bowl and clean the pilot jet, which is the smaller of these two brass guys right here. Often it's removable, so if it is, unscrew it and then blast it out with solvent and compressed air. So, you've got your pilot jet clean, but you've already got the carburetors off the bike, so you might as well give the things a thorough cleaning. Lucky for you, we've got a carb cleaning video with step-by-step -step instructions, and the link is right there. Why is the pilot circuit such a common problem? Well, the pilot circuit has the smallest passageways in the carburetor, so they are the first thing to get clogged. Modern gas has a bunch of ethanol in it, and it can start going bad in just a matter of weeks. So if you're not riding your bike regularly, you can save yourself a ton of trouble by pouring fuel stabilizer in your tank. There is one more thing that can cause a lean condition at idle, and that's an air leak where the carburetor mounts to the intake flange. That's certainly something you wanna check, but the vast majority of the time when you've got an issue at idle, it's gonna be your pilot jet. I know this video was very brief and I only covered one very specific set of carburetor issues, but we'll be covering more carburetor and even fuel injection troubleshooting in future videos. So make sure you subscribe, leave your comments, and I'll see you next time.